Okay, so this is an old tow motor forklift. They stopped making them and uh, kind of got to fix things on my own right now. Uh, so anyway, I was having a problem with the steering. Um, for some reason, a couple nights ago, it just quit steering. It wouldn't turn left and it wouldn't turn right. You could see the ram, it was moving, like hydraulic fluid was being pumped in. The reservoir was a little low right here, but I topped it off and it's still, you could see the ram moving, but this, the shaft was moving when I'd steer the steering wheel, but it wasn't engaging the rear wheels to turn. So I got on YouTube, just like you are, and I kind of looked around. So. Where the shaft goes down, there's a little steering box under here. I know it's all gunked up, but anyway, the shaft comes into a steering box, and on the side of the steering box, I mean, yours might be different depending on the model, but there's that nut right there in the middle. It's got a little spindle on it. So you're gonna loosen that nut up. Some people say they're 5 8 mine was 13 16 uh, Just depends on what you, what you have. So you loosen that up, and with the screwdriver, you're going to, on the very end, let me see if I can try to get in there. So, let's see. Okay. So not this one. Right below, there's a little spindle. I know it's kind of blurry. But anyway, you loosen this nut up, you know, counterclockwise. And you just back it off a little bit you know you can back it off all the way if you'd like and this nut is just a flathead screwdriver and you want to tighten that clockwise just an eighth of a turn to a quarter turn just a very little and then you want to tighten that nut back up so it holds that that spindle in place and then you want to then you want to go ahead and get on your forklift started up try the steering out for me it did nothing so i had to do it like I had to adjust that spindle nut like three or four times, you know, quarter turn, you know, at a time. You don't want to overdo it right away thinking that you're way out of adjustment because then you'll jack things up. But uh, you just adjust it little by little and uh, that fixed my steering problem. So, hope this helps.